Well, Cyclone Michong has begun pummeling parts of southern India with high winds and torrential rains. At least four people have been killed. Landfall is expected on Tuesday on the coast of the state of Andhra Pradesh. Nearly 2,000 people have already been evacuated from the area. Heavy rain began pounding Chennai on Sunday. By Monday morning, there was knee-deep water everywhere. People still ventured out to buy food and other supplies, but were blocked by the water's force. Uh, from yesterday itself, uh, it was heavy rain, so that uh, the road will be blo blocked continuously. The heavy water uh, stacked on the road. We are not able to go and uh, purchase something like that, and uh, it's a problem. Very, we are facing a very long uh, problem here. For residents of Chennai, this is reminiscent of the intense flooding in 2015 that also left them defending their homes. As some parts of this uh, area is uh, low-laying, the water has entered into the houses. So they are finding it very difficult. Uh, so they are taking necessary steps to prevent water from entering into their house, uh, like uh, blocking with cement bags like that. Due to Cyclone Mikjom, some parts of Tamil Nadu state are underwater. Local authorities have been trying to evacuate affected residents, but schools and offices have been closed. And a public holiday declared for safety. Hundreds of people are also stranded at Chennai airport as torrential rain and strong winds sweep the region. It has moved last uh, six hours at the rate of 10 km per hour. Further, it is expected to move in northwest, uh, west northwest direction and intensify into severe cyclonic storm. The cyclone is expected to eventually make landfall in the neighboring state of Andhra Pradesh, which is also already on high alert.